Let's do together a financial analysis with Gemini in just 5 minutes. But on top, we will finish by a super smart and pretty and sexy reporting just for your CFO. If you already use Google for emails with Gmail, for calendar with Google Calendar, or even Google Sheet, Google Doc, well, you should have normally a business license. If your business gave you a business license, you should have also Gemini with this. And Gemini can do much more than what you think. Everybody is talking to you about what ChatGPT can do, but if if your business gives you a professional license for Gemini, what can you do with Gemini? Let me show you. So imagine you have this Google Sheet showing the revenue and EBIT for company producing cement and products, and you want to analyze this. Because you are a Google user, you can access with Gemini your file without opening it. Because when I click, I can access directly to Google Drive and I can access to this Google Sheet. Then really important is going to be the prompt. So I'm explaining that I'm working in FPNA and that I want to analyze this file like an FPNA expert. So look at this prompt. I am telling Gemini to do the work step by step, the same way that if I would coach somebody or the same way that I work. Never forget that with AI. Ask AI to check if the data is consistent. Then step two, ask the AI to give you a pivot table of the data, just to make sure that you can reconcile all of the sums. And then once it understands the data, ask to tell you the strategy to work on this data. And then the step four, that's where you are going to calculate and show the calculation. And then step five and step six, generate the visuals and the commentaries. So here I am using 2.5 Pro. 2.5 Pro has a reasoning model behind. And with the reasoning model, you can see all of the steps that are happening in the model to give you the answer. And that's where when you need calculation, it's much better to use this because you need to do a lot of work before you calculate. And it's actually performing exactly what I ask. And you can see now the step one is done with the check and it even found a mistake and recalculated the correct EBIT margin. Then we have the step two where we see here a pivot table. Thanks to this, I can make sure that AI understood the data. And as I will do if I will ask somebody to help me with their work, I will check that the data used is correct. That's an old habit I have as an auditor. It's always helpful because as a manager, you always need to check that the data used is correct. And so look, I can click on export to sheets and then open sheets. Now I can check the data and that's also what is really cool, I am still in the Google Sheet environment. I will just check and reconcile that AI used the right data. And then if it's correct, I can move on and look at the step three to understand all of the analysis that AI decided to take. And then I will see the detail of the calculations because it will again help me to see if it compare the same figures, if the calculation is correct. You also help the AI by giving a step-by-step -step process because if you ask only the result, you might not see how AI came up with the result. And then we have in the step five, all of the commentaries, but you can see that the visuals are missing. And I don't want to show you here only what works. Sometimes it doesn't work. With AI, it's okay. You can always insist. And here I ask, please generate the visuals. As you can see, after a few seconds, it's starting crafting the visuals. And now I have all of the visuals that I needed for this analysis. So you see, I have bar charts. I have also the comparison year over year. I really get quickly a good overview over the analysis of my revenue and a bit by region. But this is not finished because now we need to prepare commentaries and a report for our CFO. Let's see how Gemini can help us with this. So what I'm doing is I'm asking Gemini to create the commentaries. And here Gemini is really good because it takes all of the data we had before. Make sure you still control that the data are the same than before. And you see how well is it written because we gave context, we gave a lot of details. So this you could use, but I want something better. I want actually to activate the canvas because it didn't work the first time. I'm asking again, please turn this into an editable document. As you can see here, I have on the right side a document that we are creating together. And this document, I could change it if I want, but something better is happening. Let's see again, another option that you have, not only about writing commentaries, but what is better than 1000 words? Yeah, you got it. An image is better. What about using financial storytelling and use visuals to explain these figures to my CFO? I'm going to create a one pager and let's see how I can do that. In the Canva features, you can see up right, there is a create button and I have a lot of possibilities and I choose infographic. If you follow me on LinkedIn, you know that I love infographic. Here, it's not going to be exactly infographic, but let's see what it's going to create for us. It's going to write an HTML code. For those who used to create website, for those who already used HTML, you know that HTML helps you to create something visual. Let's see what happened when I use all of this code. For the information, here, sometimes you can get a preview 
view inside Gemini, but I will just copy the HTML. I will go to a website that allows me to see how this HTML looks like in real time. And let's see what we got. We got a super report that looks amazing, which is super clear with the right graphs, with also the EBIT bridge, with even spotlights and comments for my CFO. And look at how long we needed for this. Just in around five minutes, we got this super nice report. And what is cool about it is that you can even tweak it. You can change the value inside. You can just go in the HTML code and you know, like the 1.7%, maybe you want to show minus 2%. Well, you can change that in the HTML code yourself and still get this super nice report. So I really encourage you to check this. And if it's the first time you hear about that, that's normal because nobody's talking about it because there is only a few experts that are teaching how to use AI in finance. And those experts actually are part of the AI Finance Club. You have, for example, Christian Martinez that is working with me and also presented that to some of our clients. We have also Anna Chomina, who is expert for fractional CFOs. And all of these findings, the members of the AI Finance Club, they are the first ones to discover that. What I show you here that you see today, well, a few weeks ago, the AI Finance Club members got to learn that. That's a really an advantage when you are an AI Finance Club member is you get to learn from us because we spend our days finding how to use AI for finance. On top of that, you have also members that exchange together the best use cases. So if you want to join, check the link in the description. While you join the AI Finance Club, I will see you in the next video.